WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Tony Pan. Well, we do indeed have some big changes coming up this weekend, but let's start with the good stuff here first. It is nice out there this afternoon. Temperatures are already in the 60s. We've got plenty of sunshine. The big changes we're talking about really aren't going to kick in until Saturday night. I think even most of tomorrow is going to be okay, but uh, just know that it's going to feel like winter by the tail end of the weekend. Right now, we've got a big area of high pressure in control of the weather right now, and that's keeping things quiet. And at least into tomorrow morning, I don't think this area of high pressure is going to move too much. Uh, right now, we just have a few high thin clouds out there at the present time. So we expect mostly sunny skies as we head through the rest of today and into the weekend. Things are going to change a little bit. Let's take a look at our future cast. We'll go into tomorrow morning. Right now, I think everything's going to be quiet until we hit Saturday afternoon or Saturday night. You can see this cold front we've been talking about approaching from the west. That's going to come through here about three or four o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. After it goes by, the wind's going to shift to the northwest. The temperatures are going to drop really quickly. We might start in the 60s on Saturday morning, but by Saturday night, we're going to drop all the way into the 30s, and the wind chills will drop into the 20s. So as the front comes through, I do expect some rain. This is 730 in the evening on our future cast. It might even change over to a little bit of snow. It's not going to stick, but Saturday evening we could see a little bit of snow, especially in the northern suburbs. And then watch what happens as we head into Sunday morning. The lake effect snow machine kicks in because the wind's going to be coming out of the northwest strong, 15, 20 miles per hour at times. And I do think some of these lake effect snow showers and flurries will make it over towards Baltimore. I don't think there's going to be any accumulating snow around Baltimore. But if you're traveling this weekend, now remember this is the weekend before Thanksgiving. If you're getting out of town and going west of Baltimore, I do think there's going to be some accumulating snow out in western Maryland, parts of western Pennsylvania, West Virginia. So basically, if you're driving anywhere west of Baltimore starting on Saturday night going into Sunday, you're going to run into the snow once you get into the mountains. Again, I don't expect any accumulating snow around Baltimore. Mostly sunny this afternoon, pleasant. The high temperatures will range between 66 and 71 degrees. Considering that the wind chills will be in the 20s on Sunday morning, it might feel as much as 50 degrees colder to close the weekend at that time than it is right now. So enjoy this beautiful weather. Clear to partly cloudy tonight. Temperatures drop back into the upper 30s and low 40s. Seven day forecast looks like this. A chance for a few rain showers in the afternoon on Saturday as that front approaches again Saturday evening. It might even mix in with a little bit of snow and then just windy and cold on Sunday with a high temperature of only 45 and a chance for snow flurries. We'll stay in the 40s on Monday as well, and then we'll jump back into the 50s as we head towards the holiday. Right now, Thanksgiving Day, I expect a chance for some rain and a high near 55.